Now, if you guys remember a few videos ago, everyone was pressuring me to buy Ivana flowers. So I figured I would do one better. Instead of buying flowers, I bought her a ticket to the whole <laughs> garden. So here we are at Shalimar Gardens. Now, to be clear, we arrived about half an hour ago and this place is totally packed. Yeah. So we so thought it was best if we got the guide. Entrance here costs 500 rupees per person mm -hmm. and we went for the tour guide another 500 rupees. Yes. So we walked through the three main terraces with our guide. He was a really good guy named Khaled and he came all the way through with us. He dropped us off here. He went back to the front and now we'll start our video. Right. The thing is this, is the tour guide worth it? He was a really great guy. I don't want you to think I'm dissing him at all, but it's probably not necessary. The thing about these gardens is they were built in 1642, which is pretty incredible. Yeah. 380 wow. years old. And wow. as a result of that, there isn't much um, construction or architecture happening. It's a pretty massive, actually bigger than Lahore Fort. Yeah. So it's a super massive grounds, but it really is just kind of a picnic spot or a hangout spot. Kayla yeah. did give us some good information, which on our way back to the front, we will tell you some interesting stories of the 16 and 1700s. But um, one quick visit to the Wikipedia page and you can get that stuff yourself. Yeah. But really, you gotta use your imagination to visit this place to make it come alive. True fact. Or else it would be just a flat garden, lots of greeneries yes. and uh, fountains that are not working at the moment. Yes. Yeah. That being said, there's tons of grassy area and there's got to be thousands and thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of people here. Uh, everyone really enjoying this place. I think it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in Lahore. Oh yeah. In Lahore. fact, there's actually a metro stop that stops right here yeah. there's a subway station called Shalimar Gardens the orange line the orange line yeah okay um, so with that we'll start going back towards the front ooh. door showing you some uh, 1642 super massive Shalimar Gardens yes we're in the city of gardens so good point Yay, the we're city in the garden. of gardens after all okay <laughs> let's go we're going viral on uh, on slow-mo on TikTok. Yeah. that nowhere Got it. Got it. Thank you. Can you go here? Oh, okay. Me too. Too, okay. Let's do it. Okay, guys. Oh, oh, more. More. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we're ever gonna move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trying to get going, but uh, everybody's grabbing us for selfies. Yeah, selfies, selfies, selfies. And by the way, everyone also here seems to be so serious about TikTok. I've yes. gotten stopped so many times that, uh, and they wanted to take TikTok videos yes. with Yvonne me. is actually more popular than me. <laughs> it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit overwhelming. There's people walking and staring at us pretty much everywhere we go. Yeah, <laughs> but it's all right. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Right, guys we've walked a good I would say 200 meters and it's hard to get anything done because everybody is grabbing us for selfies and TikToks and other social media type stuff so it's like I said earlier because there's no thing to do here you just kind of hang out uh, it's, I feel like Ivana and I are the attraction we're the, we're the main event we're the main attraction there's been this one group of 10 kids just walking and staring at us and I'm like waving to them, hi, hello, and they're just like s staring at us. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. So um, up here, there's an interesting spot. We learned from our tour guide, we can tell you some information. But for the most part, as you can see, this is just a super massive hangout spot where everyone is enjoying themselves. Uh, of tons of families. It's a wholesome spot, it's really great. But um, you know, when you think of 1640s, this 380 year old place, you think there might be some more history to sink your teeth into when really it's more just a nice place for a picnic. Yeah. There you have a it. Picnic. Okay, coming up here, something very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's where we just came from, guys. This super massive area. You can see everybody just sort of milling about and enjoying the super massive park. Now, just over here, you see this ramp. 
Not a staircase, but, but a, a ramp. ramp. Why? Because back in the day, uh, small elephants were used as transport, especially for the ladies, the royal ladies. So this whole place was not open to the public. It was a royal guests and emperors only. That's right. So you can imagine the beautiful ladies that the emperor invited riding an elephant up here to the main sort of theater area, which is just up here. So you can see these stones would be original 1642 laid. You can imagine elephants carrying the royal women up to this sort of theater area. Where's my elephant? Where's my elephant? Where's my elephant? Says. We're just common folk, Mona. <laughs> we wouldn't be allowed to be here. Oh yeah, that's years right. Ago. That's right. So you can see the main stage would be over there, surrounded by water. Sort of super beautiful. These two red structures on the side would be where the band would play. So one band here, one band over there on the far side, and then the dancers or whatever it might be, the performance happening surrounded by water, kind of on the island there. Now what's really cool is the emperor would sit up there, kind of on top of that waterfall you see there, very very special. And over here there's a really really cool thing. And honestly guys, this area is pretty much the only area it's worth it for the guide. This area, he gave us this information I'm telling them now, but other than that, I mean this is kind of this is yeah. kind of the main history point. That's right. But over here there is one more cool thing I can show you guys. It's uh, a really slick design of something where they created an artificial rainbow, which would have been really really beautiful. And you can imagine like 380 years ago, a oil lamp and water rainbow. So, this place is obviously a botanical garden, or a garden I should say, but it's also a water park, kind of an original water park. So, you can imagine water would be flowing off of this ledge here. A consistent sort of waterfall across that whole ledge, right? So there would be tons of water falling, and then in each one of these holes, they would put an oil lamp. Bop, 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 bop. And so you'd have this sheet of water falling with all of these lights behind it. And then if you stood over here, dun, 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 you would see a super beautiful rainbow coming from here. So this would be another really good seat for the performance. You would see the emperor there, the performance happening there, and then this beautiful rainbow happening here, which would kind of flow underneath us into a waterfall and then out to where we just were. Honestly, as, I, as I said before, you have to use a lot of imagination yes. to make this place magical. Yes. Or else it would be just like, oh, whatever. It's just you know? sort of a super busy, almost yeah. like, it almost has the feeling of like a theme park, like a roller coaster theme park yeah. with no roller coasters. I think it's too crowded in here. And he's, the tour guide was even saying if it wasn't because of COVID, it would be even more even crowded. Even more crowded. It's, it's kind of crazy because... Uh, I think we should do some sort of crowd control in this beautiful place mm. and should maintain it better. That's just a, mm. a, a, a suggestion to make tourism better in Lahore. There you have it, yeah. guys. So there's three main gardens here. There's the first one we started off in. Everybody wanted a selfie. There's a second one here, which is the emperor's sort of theater. And there's one more just through that gate. So let's go check it out. Okay, more selfies. Maybe it's for TikTok. I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, we made it to the first Woo! terrace or the first area, which is yeah. our final area as we're doing it backwards. Right. So, right. Ivana, overall, Shalimar Gardens, would you classify it as a must visit in the hall? Uh, Oh, sure. Someone else wants to take selfie. Okay. 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 Uh huh. <laughs> the main attraction of the day. I don't blame these guys. <laughs> okay. There you go. My <laughs> opinion about this garden. Um, it's hard to film in here. It's hard to enjoy it when 
a lot of people are asking you to take a selfie every second. Yes. I mean, look Which, at behind you, Yvonne. There's yeah. like, there's gotta be 5,000 people so behind you. So many people. Everywhere you look, there's people. And because there are lots of people, I'm sorry to say there are lots of garbage in here. Uh, True fact. Which is so sad because this is a beautiful place. Right. And another thing is, again, as I said, you have to use a lot of, of your imagination to imagine, yeah. you know, the water falling, all the fountains coming up. So, yeah, to make it, to make this place to come alive. Yep. Yeah, so. There you have it, guys. Listen, we still love Pakistan. We still love Lahore. We still definitely recommend traveling here. But uh, to be honest, if we were giving advice to a traveler, I would say Shalimar Gardens is not a must visit destination. Yeah, it's not a must visit unless you're staying close by. Check it out. Sure, check it out. I mean, yeah. 500 rupees is not too expensive. But I was kind of in my head, I had it as this historical place where we could learn some history and have some amazing things. Yeah. And to be clear, our tour guide was a super nice guy, not his fault. There just isn't a profound uh, yeah. the story is grabbing really, history. The history is also, it's, they got a nice history, but it's just the garden, of the history right. of the garden. The Lahore Fort? Yeah. That's a must visit place. Yeah. This place is sort of like Lahore Fort light the whore fort yeah, uh, a, diet a part diet of, fort of, of the whole thing yeah Just there you have it guys it. so we've made it back to the front there's this super massive area here and then we're out of here yeah i'm glad we came i wouldn't say it was uh disappointing or wasn't like you know disheartening but uh i was expecting overall, more because the pictures i saw online were really really more gorgeous than reality uh, <laughs> There you have it, guys. Okay, thanks for watching our video. Yes. We'll see you in the next one. Sorry for a... What would you give this? Three stars. Yeah, three stars. Three stars. Sorry, you guys. There you have it, guys. Just being honest. But Just we being love honest. You. Part we of love our you. Part of our vlog is integrity driven. That being said, everyone here loves it. Mm -hmm. So, who are we to tell you what to do? There you have Hopefully it, guys. Hopefully, our opinion will just make this place even more better. Boom. There Yay. you have it. See you in the next one. Later, yeah. guys. Nice catch. <laughs>